Now, what made you call it Common Sense University? We'll get into what you do, but what made you do that? Well, because it just takes common sense to be well. And I was, I was given that name 30 some years ago by God himself. It's a name that the University of Common Sense. And okay. that's what I named it. And it's, it, it's, it's so simple to be well that it had to be something that was very simple. So that would really draw people if they knew that it was that common and um, it dealt with how we look at things. I, I want to just break down. You listed here, and I read it and have heard your testimony, that you've been free of cancer for 25 years. You had prostate cancer, correct? Yeah, 30, 33 years. Has it been 33 years now? Can you yeah, just share? I know there are probably some men out there. I know men in class that I've had, and um, men in general that want to make sure that that does not happen to them. But can you? I know you went through a little bit even before you found out what the real answer was yourself. Can you share a yeah. little bit about that? Well, sure. I actually, I, I actually was diagnosed with prostate cancer, but but remember when I had my prostate done, it was which I doubt very seriously was cancer, but that's the word that they use to terrorize people. So, so I didn't have somebody, I didn't go to the doctor, the doctor told me I had prostate cancer. What happened to me was, one day I was urinating at the end of the year and came off this blood. No pain, no problem or anything like that. But I went to the doctor and that's when I started my five year nightmare. And um, I went to them for five years. But fortunately for me, I didn't take the I, I didn't take the drug. My my problem was that once a year and for almost five years, the testicle would swell up to the point where I had to take my clothes off and, and sat down in front of the television. And stubbornly after taking penicillin, it would go down and all I wanted to do was get back on the tennis court and play some tennis. But for five consecutive years that happened to me. One morning after five years, I was actually walking out to my car, and this voice said, you have to take care of yourself. And the voice was so clear, I said, I want, I sure do. And I went to the clinic that morning and fired all seven of my 